Hi, in this video I'm going to cover the Track Changes feature in Excel. If you've worked in Microsoft Word, you may already be familiar with a Track Changes feature. And the Track Changes feature in Excel, although different, it is similar. And I'll go ahead and cover how you can do that. So let's say, for example, you have a workbook and you're sharing data between team members and there are changes that are occurring between different team members. And you like to be able to track the history of what those changes are. Now you can do that by sharing the workbook, turning the, this workbook into a shared workbook where multiple people can collaborate on that workbook. And that's one part of the step. And the next part of the step is tracking the changes, turning on that command. Uh, particularly in the Excel application, you can actually just do that in one step. You can just turn on track changes and it highlights it on screen and it will automatically turn into a shared workbook. So let's see how this works. So what we're going to do is we have a small table here. We're going to make some changes here. But before we do that, we have to turn on track changes. So the track changes commands are in the review tab. I'm in the review tab here of the ribbon. And under the changes group is this command here called track changes. So once I click on that, the highlight changes option is available. And if I click that, the window will show up where we have the highlight changes dialog window. Now all I need to do is ch click this checkbox where it says track changes while editing. And what it does is it highlights this particular checkbox with all. You can check this and indicate when you want those when you want to highlight those changes. You want all changes to highlight, or you want it when you last saved, or when you last reviewed, or since a certain date. I'm gonna go ahead and just stick with all. And you can also highlight changes that are done by a specific user that you're sharing it with. In this case, we have our selection for everybody. If I share this book with a number of users or everyone but myself, I don't want to track any of my changes. But I'm going to go ahead and leave that uh, unchecked here. And you can also select where you want to highlight changes. So for example, we only want to highlight the changes that are occurred in columns A to C. We can select that checkbox. But I'm not going to do that here. Now, there's two options here to highlight changes that occur on the screen or and or highlight changes that occur in a new sheet. I'm going to select this. I'm going to keep this default selection first to show you what that looks like. And then I'm going to show you what the list changes on a new sheet look like. So once I click OK, it's going to ask me to save the workbook. And once I save the workbook, it's going to change the title up here. So once I click on OK here, you notice now that the track changes file name here also gets an addition this text here that shows shared within bracket. Now it's a shared workbook and once I make any changes to it, it will show up on screen. So for example, let's say for this region for this Mike fellow, we change this region to West. And then now you notice that there is a little triangle that shows up here. If I hover over the cell here, it, it indicates there is a change of the value from North to West and also indicates who changed it. In this case, it was user and the date and time. So let's say after that I, I save this document, I send it to somebody else. Let me say I saved it and sent it to somebody else. I closed it, sent it to somebody else. They changed it and sent it back to me. Let's say I, I'm somebody else now. And then the when they open it, when it gets opened again, that highlight disappears. But since it's a shared file, it still shows up in the history. So what I'm going to do, let's say I'm somebody else, and I change this to West. I also changed VJ to West and I changed and I saved it. But then I changed my mind later on. Maybe I thought, oh, this is not West. Maybe it's supposed to be South. Right? And you don't see that it shows up here. Let me go ahead and show this other option here. Let me say that um, I sent it to somebody else, they saved it, and then I closed the file. And then they sent it back to me. I opened up the file. And now what I can do is I can go under Track Changes and look at Accept or Reject Changes. And once this comes up, I'll take the default here on accepting or rejecting the changes based on when it was not reviewed. There's another drop down option here where it says since date, but I'm not going to select that one. I'm going to just going to do the not yet reviewed and click OK. And once that shows up, it will show the list of changes to accept or reject. So this is the first change we had here from north to west. So I can go ahead and accept that. And then let's say we have this a second change here. Now you notice that it kept the history of those different changes. And maybe south was not the, the correct one. I can go ahead and select west and accept that. And it would change it back. Now those were the changes that were on screen earlier. Now if I made another change here, and I called this maybe east, 
you notice now that nothing happened here. You notice that I don't have anything here on the screen on the cell that indicates there was a change because I did not turn on highlighting here. So if I turned it on right now and I clicked OK, and now you see when I hover over it, you see that little triangle on the upper left. And you can see it also shows that it changed it from north to east. What I can also do is, in addition to seeing the changes indicated and highlighted on screen, I can go under Track Changes, click on Highlight Changes, and also check off this box here where it lists the changes on a new sheet. And once I do that, it's going to put a new sheet on here called History. I'm going to go ahead and click OK, and it says only changes which have been saved will be listed on the History sheet. So I'm going to click OK, and I'm going to go ahead and save that and then go ahead and bring back the track changes, highlight changes, and click on this list changes again. Now once that's OK, I have this history sheet. And now you notice that I have these changes listed here on a separate sheet. Once I close this file, this sheet will disappear, as I'll show you right now. When I click Close and Save it, and I reopen it again, you notice that the history sheet disappears. But it doesn't mean that the history is gone. It just means that sheet has gone away. So let's say that I change this back to north. And I go ahead and save it. And I go ahead and click track changes, highlight changes, and click on this list changes on a new sheet. Click OK. Let me go ahead and click OK. I needed to unselect. I'm going to go ahead and unselect this one so it's going to list all my changes. Click OK. And you now you'll notice that all my changes show up here. We even have the rejected uh, result, rejected action one because I had selected, uh, I had unselected this, so it just basically gave everything back. So that is the list of the history of those changes. Now there's certain things that don't get tracked, and formatting is one of them. So if you looked at the Excel help file, it'll list out some of the items that don't get tracked, such as formatting cells and data. So that meaning like if I go back into sheet one and I click on here and maybe I don't like that color I like the maybe a, uh, a purple color and I click save what it's gonna do if I go ahead and click track changes and maybe I highlight well maybe I'll have it on a new sheet let me go ahead and click OK you notice that nothing shows up in terms of that particular color change so it just tracks changes based on values in the cell amongst other things and these are the items that it really doesn't track changes on that well. However, if you're doing a lot of changes in a table such as this, and you're changing formulas or values, uh, the track changes feature actually is a pretty good option if you're collaborating with a team to kind of highlight where changes occurred and if you have to backtrack or accept or reject changes. Now, if you wanted to turn off the track changes features, you can also go into track changes here and just go ahead and deselect that and click OK. You'll notice that it's going to ask you if you're sure. You just click on yes and now you notice that where it says shared here it's gone and that will turn off the track changes feature. Basically it just turns off the shared workbook feature which disables the track changes feature. So this is just a brief summary of the track changes feature available in Excel. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.